Go to sendoutcards.com and you'll sign in with a user. You have your own username and password. I'm just going to show you briefly how I would send a card. Uh, first of all, like I said, I mentioned um, when you put your client's birthdays or anniversaries in there, send out cards is going to email and remind you two weeks prior. Also, on your site, you'll have a little clock there, so it's got reminders. So I need to send, um, I need to send this client a birthday card. So I'm going to do that. how fast the internet is here. Okay, it's going to come up and send out cards. These are what we call stock cards. These are pre-made cards by send out cards. You can use any of these cards. There's over 17,000 cards in the system. I think your average card shop has about 900. So there's a card in here for everything. If you like one of these cards, great. You can send it. If not, you can totally create your own. But we're going to start real simple. So let's say I want to send this card. When you see the little gray arrows here, that means there's something on the inside of the card. This one, for instance, here has nothing, so that card is blank inside. But I can look here, I can create a postcard, two panel, three panel, our big card, you'll see out there, it's about the size of my laptop here. But there's a couple samples out there as well. But I'm gonna just send a two panel card. No, no, but I've had people ask that when I've asked them for their address. They said, how are you going to send me brownies in an email? I said, no, this is a physical card. Um, so they're all printed, stuffed, and mailed from Salt Lake City. You never have to touch them. Sorry, the internet here is a little slow. Here's our girl. There we go. Oh, there it is. It just was slow. Sorry about that. That's that blue button in the corner. That, that blue button is, uh, that's a... Uh, One more down. That's if I'm going to continue with the card, so...
may want to change the color. So I'm going to go here and just change the color. And also in send out cards, you can do, it's not, I was hoping to set up my computer here, but in my computer, I can click <coughs> on insert signature and it comes up with my handwriting and it has my signature. I click on that and it puts my signature in my card. Basically what they do is when you sign up, they send you out a packet and you actually do handwriting samples and you submit it. So it's actually your signature. It's not like a digital craziness. It's actually your signature, and they can actually use you writing. Like they'll send you, you know, on this form, it'll have A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And you actually write each one of those letters out, and then they translate that into their system. So when you write a note, it's actually your handwriting printed out. So the happy birthday will actually be your handwriting. Correct. Yes. Yeah, you know, like I can't, it won't let me for some reason on this computer go in, but I have my personal, like you said, my personal print. So it'll be my printing, and then I put, I've got my signature, I have my husband's, I've got Laurie Shooping, Shooping Travel. Um, you can do as many signatures as you want. And the packages I'm going to show you later, you get up to four signatures for free in that when you, if you decide to sign up for one of those, what we call bundles, and I'll explain that a little bit later. But I can just go down here and type my name. And so, or if I want to put my business. So then I hit continue. It's going to show that this is a two panel card. Uh, right there, I've uh, created a custom backing, and that's got Aaron's uh, logo on the back of the card. Um, so um, if you don't do custom branding, then it just has send out cards on the back but you can do custom branding now. So I have about 10 different backs for cards. You don't have to have the same one for every card. You can have one for personal, you can have one for business. Uh, we have one with Santa and myself on the back of the card. So you can make it, you know, all kinds of different things. But this is for Aaron's business. because I'm in my account. Normally, if they were in their account, it would come up with their name. Whatever you have on your account, it's going to show it there. But if I want to add my business, I just type it here. And Dana mentioned, I used to do my Christmas cards, and I would send about 120 Christmas cards to my top clients. It would take me 12 hours to sit down and handwrite them. Last year we sent 525 Christmas cards, it took me eight minutes. So a big use of time. There again, I can send this card out today. I can hit specific date, the calendar will come up. So literally, if I wanted to send Christmas cards, I could create my Christmas card today and have them go out December 1st. Um, so you can um, send it out, most of my cards go out immediate. And one other thing you could do with that birthday she's talking about, like if you didn't want to ask somebody for their birthday, you can actually use that as your uh, anniversary date, and there's actually an anniversary date in there, but you can use that as an anniversary date to remind the customer, hey, it's that time of year again, and you can send one of those out. So then you're not having to sit there manually go back to your calendar and everything. It will automatically notify you that, hey, Mrs. Jones, you know, last year you did her driveway, and you can send out a card saying, hey, you know, we want you back, or whatever else. And so you just hit continue until you see a confirmation number. When you see a confirmation number, that card will be printed tonight after midnight. That card will go in the mail to Kelly tomorrow. Um, and so um, because they're in Salt Lake City, we suggest if you're sending birthday cards to try to send them about a week prior, simply because send out cards sends them immediately. It just takes sometimes the post office a little longer. Um, and that's Let's say now, if I wanted to change that card and say, no, I meant to say something else, I could even go in and either cancel that order or, and mo or modify it, and I could redo it if I needed to. So they go, anytime you create a card, it goes in the mail after midnight the next day, except in December. When you hit send, it's going straight to a queue to be printed, because at that time they're printing a million cards a day. And so they've got to just keep going as fast as they can. But the rest of the year, you've got a little bit of leeway. There again, if you hit immediate, it's going out the next day, or you can set it to go out a certain date. Um, I'm going to show you uh, 
And there again, I'm just going over some basics. Anybody that is interested in send out cards, I work with Dana and Aaron. I also have a program called Screen Meet. So if you decide you want to set up for an account, then I can get on the phone with you, send you a link. You can actually see my computer. I can walk through and do training with you. Um, because there's a lot you can do with send out cards and I can't cover it all today. But let's say I want to send a custom card. There's a um, block here that says create a picture plus card. This is when you get just a blank template and then you can create this card any way you want. But let's say I'm going to do this one. There's some pictures I've already loaded. This is from uh, the Aaron to. Here's a picture of a church with a dirty roof. Now how did you get that to go over there where I could get my, I can't get this, it's gone again. What did you do before, sir? So that's on the inside of the card at the top. You can see it there. Right there at the top, it'll show you. So that's the inside. So then if I want to come over here and again type the word after. I can type it there. I can move it around, change colors, do anything I want. Then I can come down to the bottom here. I can add Anything that's under templates or uh, elements, you can add to a card. I rarely, and you'll see cards out there, please look at some of the samples. I rarely ever, ever send a card with white on it because it doesn't cost any more, so you can put as much color or as many elements as you want. But if I come here and type my message, So if you want to change it, you can change it to a different font. Normally, you can click right there. You'll have all kinds of sizes. You can size it. You can move it around. Um, you can change colors. Any of these colors, any colors here, um, you can click on. This will make your colors darker. So you can get as creative as you want. But there again, 
there's just doing something very simple, like your personal message. You can have your signature, and then you would hit continue. There again, this has got her cut their custom branding on the back of the car. Um, whatever you have it set default, it'll come there. If this was a travel, one of my travel cards, this is what I put on the back of my travel cards. I just click that. And then it changed the back of that card to, to what I wanted it to be. So you can do that. And then there again, when you want to add a gift, you click here. Brownies are our number one seller. I can send a custom card and two brownies to a client for less than $9. That's including shipping. And um, it's amazing what two brownies and a card does for your business. Um, and just to tell you, last week I had researched a trip for someone and they sent me brownies. He backed out and I spent a lot of time researching this trip. I got home last Tuesday and I had brownies in the mail from another company. So I looked up on their website. Their brownies are small than ours, smaller than ours, but not quite as tasty. They were good, but not as good size. And um, they sent me a dozen brownies and it was $50. And I looked at ours. If I had sent a dozen brownies and a custom card, it would have been $23. So you would have had more brownies for half the price. So we are a good deal. Um, there again, there's all kinds of gifts in here. We send gifts to our grandchildren. Um, these are the brownies. They come in two, four, six, eight, and 16, I believe it is. And so um, the, uh, the caramels are very good. I have clients that I sent those to. I actually have a bracelet on my husband. It was my birthday, and I made it real easy. I went to send out cards to count. What I want for my birthday. So make it very easy for him. Um, but there's all kinds of gifts in here um, that you can choose from. And they and they change. Some are seasonal, like they had some um, cookies with bunny rabbits and stuff for Easter. They had um, sugar cookies that were um, you sent me some with the uh, snowman. snowman and the snowflakes. They were really good. She sent me those for my birthday. So you can just click here, you click on your gift that you want going to show that it's two, um, two brownies, it's 10 points, and I'll explain how that works. You just um, add it to your <coughs> So now it shows that I have a card, I have a two pack of brownies. Check out. There again, it's got my name and address. Now if this is a brand new customer, you can just type in their information. Go down here, hit Add to Contacts, and it's automatically going to put it in your contact manager for you. If you already have it in your contacts, then you can just go up here and select Contacts, type in first or last name. Let's see if I type in Susan. <coughs> and someone came up, I can click on that. Select recipient, it's automatically going to put in there a name and address. There again, it's going to go out immediately. It shows you how much your shipping is. It's four dollars and seventy cents to ship that. If it was just a card, it would be our postage just went down, so it's forty-seven cents instead of forty-nine. It just went down last week, and so I just hit continue. How much was just a card? Uh, just a card would be forty-seven cents for postage. Our postage is the same as the post office. Send out cards right now is the number one purchaser of first-class postage in the United States. How much are the cards? And I'm, going to, and I'm going to show you that. I'm going to show you how, how that works. And it's an actual stamp. It's not a meter. They actually put a stamp on it. So that card and brownies together is 13 points, and I'll explain what that means. So I hit send. So that card and brownies would go in the mail tomorrow. But I don't really want that client to get that yet, so I'm going to cancel the order. Um, and several of you have asked what that means with points. Think of send out cards as a monthly subscription. Um, you're pre-purchasing points or credits that you turn around then and use to send cards and gifts. You have an expense account in there. Your expense account covers postage and any shipping. Um, and so I'll show you how that works.
called bundles. And um, are those monthly, yearly? No. Well, and I'll explain this. Um, this gives you more product, and I'll ex these are fairly new. Send out cards has recently quote bundled some of our products together to give you more bang for your buck. Whereas I had to purchase them separately when I was started using the send out cards. Um, you had say if you have a monthly subscription of 100 points, your points are 39 cents a piece. A a standard two panel card, whether it's vertical or horizontal, is three points. So that card customized, you can customize it as much as you want, it's going to cost you a dollar and seventeen cents. And so you can't there's nobody in the market that can compete with our prices for customization. Um, like I said, you can customize it as much as you want. What this does, this is a uh, business bundle or a personal bundle. What this does, this sets you up on your monthly subscription of $39 a month and you get 100 points every month that you're turning around sending cards and gifts. In the past, our points have been good for 12 months, so if you don't use them all, they're good for 12 months, and most people are going to use them up at Christmas. Last week, we just got an announcement. Now, they have extended that to 18 months, so the points are good for 18 months now. Um, there's no contract. You don't have to sign that you're going to use it for a year. You, it's a month-to-month. Uh, program so if you sign up for send out cards and for some reason you don't like it you can cancel the account you can pause it and restart it it's just if you pause it you need to wait 90 days to restart it but as long as you've got points in there like if you've got 500 points in there and you pause your account you can still send cards and gifts every month until those points are gone and then restart um, your account if you need to so they just make it very easy to use but what this gives you this starts you out with your 100 points per month you get that custom branding for the back. And if you'll look at some of my cards out there, you'll see on the back you'll see send out cards on a lot of them because they were cards that I did before I started using the custom branding. Now I, I can have my logo on the back. I can have name. Like I said, I just did the one with uh, um, Aaron's business. I put the uh, benchmark pressure wash on the back. I put his name, address, phone number, and his email. You can put as much information on the back as you want. You can put your picture. Uh, whatever you want on the back of your cards to make it custom gives you the real estate in the back of that card instead of having hallmark or send out cards on the back it's got your business on the back because everybody that's on the back of the card see where it came from um, so anyway this gives you the custom branding you get your four free signatures so they can be business signatures you know personal whatever you need you get your start you out with 100 points and you get enough storage for 1500 contacts with this account um, the renewal is $49 a year, and that renewal is just for the, uh, because you're doing custom branding. Because, like last year, I had to buy, I paid $195 just for custom branding last year. Or, excuse me, $149. And so, that's a renewal fee just for that. A marketing bundle has um, a little bit more. You still get your custom branding. It's $395, and that's a one-time charge. That's not per year. Um, like, if you buy this, um, personal bundle. You pay $195 one time and then $39 a month and you're getting 100 points every month to send cards and gifts. Um, I use about 500 points a month. Um, and then uh, you pay $49 a year to renew. So you're not paying that $195 again. Um, same thing with the marketing bundle. It's $395. You, there again, you get your custom brand manager. You get a training portal. Um, this is a, it's called Master Relationship Marketing, and it tells you how to use send out cards, and not just send out cards, but how to do, do emails, and how to reach out and touch your customers in many different ways. Um, actually, last year I drove through a blizzard to Pittsburgh to take this class, and um, I paid, I think, $159 for the class, but now it's online, and that's included in this bundle. Um, you also get um, uh, 2,500 contacts. And so you get more uh, memory, more contacts. You still get your um, handwriting font, but you start off with 200 points instead of 100. And, and the, when you buy one of the bundles, those points that you first purchased there are good for 60 days. And the reason being, they don't want them to sit there. They want to get you started. They want you to start using <coughs> send-out cards because there's no use to have a send-out cards account and never send a card. It's not going to benefit you. It's only going to benefit you if you use it. And I love to teach people to use this because I know what it's done for my business. Um, there is a business bundle, but I don't really think anyone here needs to 
to invest in that because it has sub accounts underneath that. So uh, I think either the marketing, the personal bundle, or the marketing bundle would be your best bet to get that customization, your signatures, get you started with your bonus points. And I mean, literally, if you signed up today, we can show you how to send a card today. I mean, it's <coughs> instant. And so you can send a card from anywhere. Um, I can teach you how to use your iPhone, your Android to send cards. Does anybody have questions? Because I know this is so different. Just one more uh, point that I wanted to make, too. With, with the database, you can open up different groups. For okay. instance, I have a group for Benchmark. I have a group for family. I have a group for church, different groups. And then if you wanted to send like uh, you know, uh, uh, something to your Sunday school class or something, you could use a specific card for that group. But I especially enjoy the family because again, it's gonna remind me of birthdays coming up or anniversaries or things like that. And I can go ahead months in advance really and I'll pick out a card that I'm gonna send. And, and they have uh, the, the gifts, you can go into all of those. I mean, they've got every kind of uh, a gift pack you could imagine, including jewelry and things for your wife. Also have gift cards. So if you want to just throw a gift card in the mail, you can, you can do that. But but I love it because, you again, you can put those different groups under there. You're, you're not paying any extra for that. That's all included. It's, it, believe me, if Lori and I can do it, you can do it. It's very easy to do. And yeah, because I mean, I've had a few complete computer glitches here today. You know, when I'm on my computer, I feel like I'm much faster. But and I'll answer your question. She did mention our contact manager, you do not pay for it free. You just decide how much you want to pay for your cards and gifts. Um, you know, which, which marketing bubble would work best for you. Uh, your contact manager is free. And as a travel agent, I had looked at a lot of different CRMs, client relationship marketing packages, and some of them were, you know, seven, eight hundred dollars purchase and then, you know, huge monthly fees to maintain. So, um, and like she said, when you go in and create groups, I have a lot of groups. I do cards for my Sunday school class. I'm in a networking group that I do cards for. Um, you can name your groups, make them as specific to your business as you need to, so that it'll be easy for you. You could put groups in there by zip code. You could do it by price point. You could do it by churches, homes, condos cities, anything, <coughs> however you want it, or by month, however you wanted to make your groups, you can go in and create groups, um, and you can see I have a lot of different types of groups here, most of mine related to travel, um, and um, they're again my Sunday school class, um, uh, through a lot of missionary travel, so I have a lot of uh, churches in here, but they're again like this Knudsen group, that was a cruise group that I did, so I created, I did Knudsen group, then when I went to main manager, uh, main, excuse me, main menu, and new contact, I just listed my contacts there. You just put in, you only have to put in name and address. That's all you have to put in to send a card. But you can put as much information here as you want to keep up with. Because there's a place for work phone numbers, cell phones, fax numbers, websites. Here's where you put your birthday, anniversaries. That's how I send out cards those to email you and remind you. You can put spouse, you can add children. Then you go down and you click on and put them in a group. And there again, like Dana said, the reason you want to start creating groups is so at Christmas, you may want to send a different Christmas card to your family than you would to your business associates. So you can make it as specific as you want. And there again, this is something that, that's a lot to absorb, just me up here talking, but we do training, you know, one-on-one -on -one training with you and get you started. We really want to benefit anyone that's interested in using it. But um, um, you can go in, enter your contacts here, find if you just need to look up a contact, you go here, add first or last name, you can pull up contacts. Also send up cards you can store every card you've ever sent. So if you send someone cards, like I have a lady that I went to church with that had cancer, and I would send her a card every month. So I would go back and look to make sure I didn't send her the same card. And so it will store every card as well. Um, you had a question. Yeah, can you import, import your contacts from QuickBooks online? So you it, don't have to uh, it, write them all in? Right, <coughs> if, they, if you can get them into an Excel spreadsheet, uh -huh. then they can be imported. Okay, cool, thank you. And they are working on some things right now to be able to interface with other um, um, CRMs. So that's coming in the future, like um, 
car salesmen, I think they use Salesforce and yeah, some programs right. they use. So they're working on those being able to interface. But when you go to um, company under tutorials, mm -hmm. there's a tutorial there on how to import your contacts. Also, if you need help, they have a support desk that will help you. Because I know I have one lady that says it's a sign up. They have 4,000 contacts, so obviously they didn't want to type them all in. And the support desk is very good. I know that if you think you've wiped out your database, you have not. They can find it for you and they help you. Yeah, because I've deleted all my contacts, but one twice now. Uh, when I got in a hurry and did something backwards, and I pulled up and I had one contact instead of 4,000. I'll say this. Thank you for the two families. We'll go a long way. At Christmas time, my big contractor will send eight families and uh, Christmas cards. They literally fight over the brownies. Um, I mean, it's amazing. People said, am I going to get a brownie? I mean, you know, they want to be on the brownie list. Yes. What about the last 100 points for the $39? Um, well, there again, if you purchase the marketing monthly, you start out with 200 points. You can set your subscription on a monthly basis. If you find yourself like me, I was having to buy 100 points every week, especially like right now, it's not going to be time of year. So I would use, sometimes use 100 points in a day. So I was having to constantly go in and buy points. So I, during this time of year, I usually set my subscription at 500 points a month. And then when business starts to slow down a little bit, I can go back and lower it. So yes, you have a custom account manager, you can change that, or if you go right here to main menu, well there again, on this computer here for some reason, this is, now we'll be here, we don't want to, we don't want to go over our time, but okay. we do have a, a table set up out here, please come by and see us, we are going to give away a gift card, and we've got some more brownies, uh, I've got some brownies today, and I have some more brownies coming, they did not make it for this meeting, but hopefully by tomorrow we can give you some more free brownies for your break of time. But again, we appreciate it. It's very easy. Are these coming out of California by chance? Yes. Copy out there. Same post office, right? <laughs>